What's up with the what's up? It's the Julia LeVay. Welcome back to my channel. So happy you're back. Make sure you click subscribe, turn on the notifications, and hit that like thumbs up button. You know how this go. So today we're gonna get into this super cute, super versatile, and you can get so dramatic with it, poncho. Add some fringes, you can add tasks, you can do so many things with this quick, easy design. I used three balls of impeccable yarn, weight four, in the color Heather, which I'll list below. So grab your scissors, stitch marker, measurement tape, and let's get it popping. It's so cute, you can do so many colors. Now, y'all play too much, we gotta go. We gotta go. Okay, so let's get started. Just going to make my slip knot. And I'm going to make a chain of 110. Plus four for the turning chain. And I'll meet you when I get back. Once you have your 110 or multiple of twos, chain up four, one, two, three, four. And you're gonna double crochet in the fifth chain from the hook. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Double crochet right in there. You're gonna chain one, skip one, and double crochet in the next. And you're gonna follow that pattern all the way down, making a double crochet in the very last stitch. So just double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet. And this is how it should look. After you place that double crochet in the last stitch, you're gonna chain up four, turn your work, and place one double crochet in the very first box window uh, space. Yeah, place it right there. You're gonna chain up one and go right into the next empty box, like so. Chain one in the next empty box, and you're gonna do this all the way down. And you're gonna do this for the whole entire piece. So, I'm gonna do this for a total of 29 rows, and I'll meet you when I get back and done with my 29 rows. So just know that we're just repeating this the whole entire square. Now you could do it short, extra long, however you wanna go. I'm gonna do my 29 rows. So I'm working on the front side of my poncho, which I want it to be shorter than the back. I'm doing 29 rows to the neckline, the neck opening, which equal around 18 inches. So that's what we're working on right now. Okay, so once you're done with however many rows you did for the front, I did a total of 29 rows. You're gonna take your piece, fold it in half, just like that. Then you're gonna place a stitch marker right in that middle stitch, right here. Just right in the middle. I mean, you could count if you like, but I'm not doing that. So, open that back up. That is our center. You're gonna grab your measuring tape. I'm going to do seven inches away from the stitch marker on one side. And place another stitch marker there. And then seven inches on the other side and place a stitch 
marker there. Now, this is going to be our neck opening. Ooh, New York is so loud. This is going to be our neck opening. So we can take out this middle stitch marker. And you want to count the stitches in between. So let's do that. We're gonna count this one where the first stitch marker is. We're gonna count that as a stitch. So that's one, two, three. You're gonna count the chain one space as well. So I got a total of 42. So now what we're gonna do is continue how we did the rows to that first stitch marker. I'm going to chain 42, skip 42, and then go back to the pattern over here. So I'm just going to continue the pattern until the stitch before the stitch marker. I'll meet you when I get right before the stitch marker. Now that I'm at the chain before that stitch marker, I'm going to chain 42 because we're skipping 42 stitches. So however, whatever the amount is that you skipped here, you're just gonna chain the same amount. So I'm gonna chain 42. So I have my 42 chains. And I'm just going to double crochet with the stitch after that second stitch marker. So let me zoom in. So I'm just going to place one double crochet right there and continue my pattern. And you're going to do this all the way to the end, right there. Now, some of that, I'm going to take this out, turn your work, and now we're working on the back side, so you could do however many rows you want. I'm going to do a total of 39 rows. And I'm going to go so we hit this chain, and I'll be back. So now I'm at the chain, just going to chain one and skip one just how we did along the, our rows. And you're going right into the chain. Let me just focus. So chain one, skip one chain. And that's all it is to it. Chain one, skip one, chain one, skip one, and do this all the way down, so nothing too different, and right when you get back here, do the same exact thing. So I'm done with the chain, I'm going to go back to regular schedule programming, into that box and we're going to continue our pattern down for the rest of the rows for our back section now you could do this short long however you like but I'm gonna do mine's a little long and that's how it looks so I'm gonna chain up my four Go back and do the same exact thing I did on the front part 
and I'll be back when I'm done with all my robes. So I finished my 39 rows for the back and all that's left, unless you want to do a border or you know, get crazy with it. All that's left is just adding the tassels. So I'm just going to wrap my yarn around this. Um, you know what this is. We, we know what this is. So for my tassels, I'm just going to wrap it around. You can use whatever technique you use, how you use it. I'm just going to hold it there, go under, cross over a little. And I'm going to just wrap it. That's all I'm going to do for my tassels. I know there's tons of techniques, but this is what I'm going to do. Yeah, so if you want your tassels longer, use something else like a, a book or something like that. It don't got to be nothing fancy. So, yep, I'm just going to wrap around. And, yeah. So, I simply just finished wrapping it. I'm just going to cut right in the middle. Feel free to use better scissors than what I'm using because this ain't it. Like that. So now I'm left with this. And you could use one strand, two strands. I mix it up. So the first one, I'm just gonna do two strands. I'm going to go through the loop. Let me zoom in. I'm just going to go through the loop. And pull through. Now you can use your crochet hook or whatever you wanna use, so. For some of them, I'm going to do two strands. For some, I'm going to do one. And I'm going to do this all around this big rectangle. Now, feel free to get super creative. You could add beads and jewelry and uh, feathers from the birds outside, leaves, whatever floats, you know? And that's how you do it. So I did the same thing all around the side. All shaggy and rusty and you know. You don't have to go in every single box. If you're doing more strands in one, like you see how this strand I did only one string. Some I did two strands. If you're doing more than two, I'll say space it out every other box. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Hit those thumbs up. I would so appreciate it. And follow me on Instagram at Ladria Lave. Let's stay connected. And I'll see you next time.